mother. Now, as a guard, the long mustache sleeps. The triplets cut off one side of it with an axe blade. They scurry away as he wakes. As he falls back asleep, another guard peers out. Hi there, Con! Places, everyone. Places. In a great hall, the royal family takes seats on a row of thrones. In her tight gown, Merida falls back on her seat and slumps. At a gesture from Eleanor, she sits up. Pouting, she frees a curl from her wimple. Eleanor tucks it back in, sits by Fergus, and adjusts his sleeve. I look fine, woman. Let me be. Merida frees her curl again. Swinging doors knock him aside and wake the other guard. The three lords stride in at once, their clans marching behind them. Each boasts a bannerman carrying their seal. The enormous clans quickly fill the great hall, many of their frontmen armed with spears. The lords halt before the royal thrones. A servant brings a stepping stool to the short Lord Dingwall, who climbs up on it. Off to the side, a row of pipers play. The clansmen pound their spears. Fergus gets to his feet. So, here we are. Uh, the four clans. Uh, gathering. Eleanor puts her head in her hand. Four. Uh, the presentation the of presentation the suitors. The presentation of the suitors. Clan Macintosh. Your Majesty. I present my heir and scion, who defended our land from the northern invaders, and, with his own sword, stabbed Blood up, vanquished a thousand foes. A black-haired, big-nosed youth swings her sword and flexes his pecs. I'm a guffin! Good Majesty, I present my eldest son, who scuttled the Viking longships. And with his bare hands, vanquished two thousand foes. A heavy set blonde youth snaps a log in two with his bare hands. Clan Dingwall! Dingwall! I present my only son. A muscle bound warrior in hail. Who was besieged by ten thousand Romans. And he took out a whole armada single-handedly. From behind the with muscular one arm, warrior, he, he yanks out a dopey-eyed, toe-headed youth. He was stealing the ship, and with the other, he held his mighty sword and struck down the whole attacking fleet. Why? What? I heard that. Why? Say to the face. Or are you scared, simpering jackanapes? Afraid to muss your pretty hair? At least we have him! And all our deep. If he was a wee bit closer, I could lower my camera at him, can? The others stare at the MacGuffin suitor. And we don't hide under bridges, ya grumpy old troll! Laughing, <laughs> Fergus nudges Eleanor and pounds his armrest. <laughs> you wanna laugh? Eh? We dang all! The suitor's head snaps around. He pounces and gnaws on Lord McIntosh's shoulder. As Dingwall laughs, a fist cracks across his jaw. The pipers play calmly as a full-blown brawl erupts between the clans. Merida rolls her eyes while Fergus cheers. He notes Eleanor's unamused stare. He steps forward. Now, that's all done. You've had your go at each other. Show a little decorum! The triplets bring weapons. And no more fighting! One hits Dingwall's foot. As the brawl resumes, cymbals clap around the man's face. Macintosh accidentally throws his weapon and men dogpile him. Wee Dingwall sits on a man's shoulders as he punches him. The MacGuffin Scooter swings others from a long bench. Fergus launches himself into the fray. Dingwall tries to body slam a foe and misses. A bench sails over the pipers. Fergus flings a man to the dais where a mace-wielding triplet knocks him out. Glaring, Eleanor stands and steps off the dais. The brawling clansmen stop fighting and clear a path as she walks among them. At the far end of the hall, Fergus and the three lords fight in a tangled mess of limbs. Taking two by the ear, she drags them all to the dais. 